see me so I made it right here to Kings Canyon this was totally a last-minute trip I found an open spot uh, last week right here at Sunset Campground at Kings Canyon National Park so I decided to just come for the night it's Thursday and the campsite I got is campsite number 62 it's actually really nice let me see if I can show you guys a little bit if not tomorrow I will show you but I got a fire started over here found some scattered pieces of wood around here around the campsite and now I'm here just starting the fire. just going to enjoy the rest of the night uh, enjoy my fire and get some coffee started probably sleep late stare at the stars just enjoy this one night right here and maybe tomorrow if there's an open camps at all I'll stay but who knows good morning guys um, it's approximately 8 a.m. I didn't set an alarm clock I just wanted it to wake up at the time that my body wanted to wake up Oh man, I slept so good. I love sleeping outdoors. And that's one of the reasons why I love camping. Just the type of sleep that you're able to get when you're outdoors camping in the middle of the mountains or forest or wherever it is. Oh, beautiful. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the gear I brought this time. Today I decided to bring my REI one person uh, tent it's called REA passage one got a little bit more room than my other one plus I knew that I was gonna set up in the dark late at night this one um and then that way I could just come inside inflate my pad and whatnot the sleeping bag I brought is the one by climate it's a zero zero degree I also like always brought my climbing pad so I don't know if you guys can see it I have my climate pad which is amazing I sleep like a baby on this <laughs> short recap so last week I was on recreation.gov you know checking for campsites this spot happened to be open right here at Sunset Campground Kings Canyon I said heck why not uh, you know I don't work today I don't work tomorrow right after work yesterday I went home showered I had everything packed already I hit the road I would say 430 got here at about 826 but the campsite is freaking nice it's perfect the restrooms are literally feet away trash cans right there i'll show you guys right now I'm outside of the tent now and i'm here at campsite number 62 it's actually beautiful let me show you guys around i have plenty of space i can practically fit about three or a huge tent right here um i love how the setup is compared to the other site i stayed at last week i have the you know the table i have the locker right there I have my fire pit that's right here and the area to set up the tents let me show you it's pretty big i set up my tent right here last night the restroom is literally feet away got a lot of trees right here there's just nothing like this i love camping i love it that's why my goal is to do it at least twice, twice a month if possible, depending on my working schedule, but this is what I live for, just being outdoors, breathing in that air, camping my life away. <laughs> so these are the restrooms right here. And I'll stop it because, well, maybe there's no one inside. Okay, so the pretty thing, come inside, got your nose. Stalls, anything pretty clean and walk at restrooms. Here's an outside look of the camp area, Sunset Campground. Love the smell of trees, and you can see the sun peeking out from the clouds over there. Enough talking, let's make something and eat some breakfast.
Oatmeal is done. Breakfast is done. I already cleaned out. I typically bring always, always my jet boiler, of course my tent, my sleeping pad. And depending on where I'm camping at, I use a different type of um, sleeping bag. But for today, like you guys saw, I brought the zero degree climate. I even left it open because it does get a little hot, but I didn't know how cold it was going to get out here. Sunset Campground is very spacious right now due to this whole pandemic um, going on. They're only accepting reservations online. If you check right now, everything's sold out or bridge road. Just keep on checking every week. That's how I came across this campsite, just randomly popped up. Sometimes people cancel, sometimes they open different campsites. Barely going to be 9 a.m. So I think I'm just going to explore some other areas I haven't been to. I know there's a lake down here. <laughs> To make the most out of my trip, I spoke to some park rangers. They recommended I come and check out Hume Lake. It's about 20 minutes away from the Sunset Campground at Kings Canyon National Park. They said it's worth seeing, so I'm gonna check it out because they also told me something very amazing that you can camp out there. <laughs> so I wanna check it out right now. But we do take the small road that's very curvy. Here we go. taking the time to come out here to Lake Kings Canyon from what I read it's a man-made lake it was privately owned but then sold to the National Forest and now it's a popular attraction I believe it attracts 4,000 people a week if you come here you're going to see a lot of people fishing enjoying the water all throughout the lake it's it's a it's pretty big just make sure that you come early during the day. There is camping out here. I went and informed myself. You have to go to recreation.gov and see if there's an open reservation. But let's check out more of this lake area because it's ginormous. Another thing, guys, just take the time to come out and enjoy nature. It's, there's so much to see, so much to enjoy. It's cheaper than therapy. Even if you come for one night like me, I just took a spontaneous trip and I drove out here yesterday at like 4.30 in the afternoon, in the evening I should say. I got here at 8.30, sat on my tent, just enjoyed it, had a great night's sleep and I'm out here. Before I left, I wanted to check out one more place over here at Kings Canyon and I'm glad I came. This is a beautiful lake, there's a lot to do. From what I'm seeing over there, you can rent uh, small canoes to just paddle your way around the entire lake. Maybe I'll do that another time. That is it for this short, super short, spontaneous trip video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying my vlogs. If you have, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Once again, I hope that I'm inspiring at least one person out there you know, to pack up, get your car and drive to a national park, drive somewhere, 
you know, sleep under the stars. It's the best thing that you can do, trust me. Even if you can do it once a year, just get out there and explore nature. Catch you guys on the next one.